photocopier photocopier is a machine with which one can have an exact photocopy of an original print Chester Carlson a law student invented the process called xerography in 1938 xerography comes from the Greek word xerox meaning dry writing in 1950 the Xerox Corporation made xerography or photocopying commercially available. Hence, photocopiers are commonly known as Xerox machines. Working of a photocopier is based on the principle of photoconductivity and Coulomb's law. Photoconductivity is the property by virtue of which certain substances like carbon sulfide and selenium conduct when light is incident on them. Coulomb's law states that like charges repel while unlike charges attract. The user end of making a photocopy begins with a few basic steps like opening the copier lid placing the document to be photocopied on the glass and then covering it with a plastic sheet. Selecting the options you want like number of pages and enlargements. Pressing the start button. What happens inside the copier when we press the start button is amazing. To know what is taking place inside the copier we have to first understand the parts of the copier. Construction A photocopier consists of an aluminium drum whose surface is slightly oxidized. Over the oxidized surface there is a thin layer of selenium which is a photosensitive material. This drum is housed in an absolutely dark compartment. There is a fine slit for the entry of light. There is a transparent glass plate on which the original print document is placed. The original document is placed in such a way that the printed portion is in contact with the glass plate. The document to be photocopied is then covered with a plastic sheet. There are two charging wires maintained at high voltage. One of the wires is fixed below the roller and the other is placed parallel to the roller. Here you can see the optical system that focuses the light on the exposure slit. An optical system consists of a number of mirrors and a lens. Parallel to the drum there is a developing tank. The developing tank contains a magnetic brush roller and a toner box. The toner consists of a special black substance that melts on heating. The carrier consists of very tiny beads. The mixture of toner and carrier beads that cling to one another is called a developer. Here you can see a mixture of the toner and carrier beads clinging to each other. Placed very close to the developing tank, there is a magnetic brush roller which helps in picking up the developer particles as they are charged. The heating chamber present in the copier helps in fixing the toner onto the white paper. Working of a photocopier The major steps involved in the copying process are charging the selenium drum, formation of latent image, development of latent image, transfer of image to a plain paper, fusing of toner to the final copy. Let us see what happens when a printed matter is placed on the copier. The charging wire which is at a high voltage emits positive ions. The atoms of selenium present on the aluminium drum emit electrons to neutralize the positive ions. Thus the drum acquires positive charge. Selenium drum conducts charge 
only when exposed to light. The exposure lamp illuminates the original document. The printed matter present on the document absorbs light whereas the blank areas reflect light. This light reflected from the document is projected through the optical system. The optical system focuses the light on the exposure slit which is present near the selenium drum. The revolving drum loses its positive charge when the reflected light of varying intensity falls on it. Due to this exposure, an invisible electrostatic image called latent image is formed on the selenium drum. Let us see how a latent image is formed. If the text on the document to be photocopied is welcome, then the seven letters on the document absorb the incident light whereas the blank areas reflect the light. When this reflected light from the blank areas is incident on the positively charged aluminium drum, the corresponding regions on the drum lose their positive charges and the rest of the positive charges will be arranged as WELCOME -E on the drum. The magnetic brush roller present near the aluminium drum moves in a direction opposite to that of the aluminium drum. The magnetic brush roller picks up the developer particles. When the brush roller comes in contact with the aluminium drum, the negatively charged toner particles are transferred to the latent image, that is, positive in charge. Hence, the latent image becomes visible. Let us now see how this image is transferred to a plain paper. The quenching lamp present near the drum illuminates the drum and dissipates the positive charge on the drum, thereby loosening the toner particles. When positively charged paper comes in contact with the drum, the negatively charged toner particles get attached to the paper. This paper passes through the heating chamber. The heating chamber consists of two rollers, namely upper and lower rollers. A halogen lamp is mounted on the axis of the upper roller. This lamp heats the roller and particles of toner melt into the fibers of the paper. The lower roller presses the melted toner into paper fibers and thus we get a photocopy of the document. Imagine how tedious it would be if we had to recopy everything by hand. Isn't it amazing to get an exact replica in few seconds? So next time you visit a photocopying unit, remember Chester Carlson, the inventor of the photocopier.